Okay, let's take a look at this classic algebra word problem. And I use that word classic, meaning that this type of word problem is a very common type of uh, problem that is used in algebra courses through the years. I'm sure even your grandparents, when they were taking algebra, if they took algebra, were doing some sort of problem like this. But it's a uh, great illustration how we use equations uh, to uh, solve word problems. So it's an application of algebra. I think you're going to find it uh, very interesting. But uh, let's actually read the problem. So it says uh, you have $5.50 in change, okay, with only quarters and dimes, and you have three times the number you have three times the number of dimes than quarters. So how many dimes and quarters uh, do you have? So that is the problem. And uh, so obviously I'm going to solve it, but I certainly encourage you to try to solve it as well. But before we get going, let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over many, many years I've constructed uh, several uh, online math courses. So if you're interested in checking out my full math help uh, and full co math courses, um, I'm going to leave a link to my program in the description of this video. And also, if you uh, want to pick up a set of my math notes, you can find those links in the description or beneath this video. So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this problem. All right, so here it is. If you think you know how to do the problem, I would certainly encourage you to pause the video and kind of tinker around with it. But um, let's get into it. All right, so again, this is an application of algebra, something that uh, probably like an Algebra 1 student would do. Okay, so first thing about uh, solving word problems like this is what we need to do is to identify a variable. Okay, of course, I already have this work written out, so we're going to you know, see the solution. But what you want to do is say, okay, in algebra, we use variables like x and y, etc. So you're going to have to use the information that you have, right? So let's just take a look at some, uh, some, some things that we know. All right, so we have this value, $5.50. Then we have this piece of information, three times the number of dimes and quarters. And then, obviously, we're looking for two pieces of information. How many dimes and quarters do we have? So what we're trying to identify is how many, okay, dimes and quarters, all right? That's, that's the key question. So you have to look at the information you're given, and then think about some sort of uh, variable. Okay, we're going to use the variable x. Okay, and what could x stand for, right? Let's just think about that. What could x stand for? What could it represent as a starting point in this problem? Okay, now once you've kind of determined that, okay, what the whole idea of uh, algebra and a problem like this is to use all the information you have to build an equation. So, first of all, we're going to have to identify a variable. Okay, and then we're going to have to construct an equation. All right, so you know we're going to have to put some algebra stuff here, some variables, and then it's going to equal to something else. Okay, we have to get to that point. If we can't get to an equation from this information, then we're not going to be able to solve the problem. So once we do have an equation, we can solve for x, for example, and then solve uh, then um, solve the problem. Okay, so. You can kind of think here, like if you solved for x, if you had an equation that was made up of x, what could x represent? Okay, so such that you solved it, you know, it could represent something. So it would be, maybe, you know, we're looking for how many dimes and quarters. Maybe x would represent the number of quarters you have or maybe the number of dimes you have, right? So that would be useful. And in fact, that's how we're going to uh, construct uh, the solution to this problem. Okay, so here we go. Without further ado, what we're going to do is let x equal the number of quarters. All right, so x is going to equal the number of quarters. Okay, we're going to only use one variable because remember we have three times the number of dimes than quarters. So if we have x quarters, then we have three x dimes. Okay, so you understand that? So if I have whatever amount, because I have three times the number of dimes and quarters. So whatever amount of quarters I have, I'm going to have to have 3x amount of dimes, okay? So this is the number of quarters and dimes that we have based upon the given information, okay? 
But we have this dollar value, this $5.50. That has nothing to do with the number. It has to do with the monetary value, how much total money you have, okay, not the number. So we have to, we can't be, we can't construct an equation. Some of you might out there might might do this mistake. You might like, oh, okay, x quarters plus 3x dimes is going to be equal to 550, all right? So, uh, a lot of you would make that mistake, I'm sure, because that's a uh, another quote unquote classic mistake um, with these type of problems. But in fact, this is not this is not the case. This is how many quarters and dimes you have. That's not going to be, um, you know, they, you can't write it like this from a monetary standpoint. We have to give the values because this is dollars, right? This is five dollars and fifty cents. So quarters and dimes have different values. So we have to um, uh, account for that in this equation. So a quarter is going to be 0.25x, okay, of how many, um, uh, how, the number of quarters you have, okay? So if I have one quarter, I would have 0.25 times one or just 25 cents, okay? So again, these problems, once you figure out how to do one and you come across a money problem like this, again, uh, something that deals with money and quarters and dimes, you know, again, very Classic. In other words, they these these type of problems show up uh, frequently on tests and quizzes, etc. So once you figure out how to do one, then you can't get that main idea. You can do uh, others as well. All right. So here we go. So 0.25x. This is our quarter value plus the value for a dime is 10 cents, right? So that's gonna be 0 0.10 of a dollar because we have five dollars and fifty cents. Now. Uh, X is the number of quarters we have, and 3X is the number of dimes. So it's going to be 0.25X plus 0 0.10, okay, this is the value of the dime, times the number of dimes we have, which is 3X. And that is going to be equal to $5.50, okay? We don't have to write the dollar sign, uh, dollar value in here because, uh, you know, we're not, we're, we're setting up an equation, okay? But you know what it represents. All right, so at this point, the most important part of this problem up to this uh, stage of it is to get the equation right, okay? So the first thing is we have to pick a variable, let's say x, and if you're confused about what that variable should be, think about what the question is asking, okay? So we want to know the number of quarters and dimes, right? So let's let x equal, uh, for example, in this case, the number of quarters, and then we can kind of build another expression, number of dimes. Now we have to put all the given information into, we have to put it together in form, in a, in terms of a, an equation. Okay. So, you know, double check, Hey, this makes sense. This makes sense. Now at this point, you can go ahead and apply your outstanding algebra solving skills. All right. To solve for X. So we got 0.25 X plus uh, 0.10 times three X is going to be 0.3 X. And you can use a calculator to help you out here. And that's equal to 550. And then when we add these two terms up, 0.25x plus 0.3x is going to be 0.55x is equal to 550. And then we're going to divide both sides of the equation by 0.55. Okay, so this is what we're going to end up having. And uh, so we got 550 divided by 0.55. You get x is equal to 10. So there you go. You got a nice solution. So you got x is equal to 10. But what does that mean? Okay. Well, what was X again? You have to go back up here. Remember, we, we were saying that we're going to X equal the number of quarters. So X was equal to 10. So we have 10 quarters. Okay. So if we have 10 quarters and we have three times the number of dimes and quarters, then we have 30 dimes, right? So let's go down here. So X was uh, the number of quarters. So we have 10 quarters. So 10 quarters, right, is uh, how much and monetary value, that would be 10 times 0.25, or you would have $2.50 worth of quarters, but you have three times the number of quarters, you have three times um, uh, dimes, you have three times the number of dimes than quarters. <laughs> now, hopefully I'm saying that right, I'm not confusing myself, but what we're saying here is we have 30 dimes, right? Three times the number of dimes and quarters, right? We have 30 dimes and a monetary value, 30 dimes is equal to three bucks and if you add this together we get back to our 550 right and that's what we have in total okay so classic algebra word problem just as fun 
as anything that you may attempt the rest of your day here. Uh, I mean, this is good stuff. You know, you get asked, hey, you know, when am I going to use algebra? I'm ever going to use algebra now. You know, is this a practical problem? No, but it's a fun problem and it's an illustration of how um, we do solve word problems um, using algebra. Okay. Uh, but believe me when I tell you, you know, algebra is used in real life. Okay. Outside the classroom, it's absolutely used to solve problems. But the main um, idea of this video was to illustrate how you take on an algebra word problem, okay, by assigning a, uh, getting the variables right, building an equation, knowing how to solve the equation, and make sure you are answering the question. All right, so once again, uh, you know, if you need more math help, okay, a couple things here. Uh, hopefully, you'll uh, consider subscribing to my channel, YouTube channel. I've been on YouTube for 12 plus years. I have hundreds and hundreds of videos that can help you out, posting new stuff all the time. And if you enjoyed this video, definitely appreciate a thumbs up. Um, again, if you like uh, my teaching style and want my full instruction, like my full deal, then you want to check out my ha uh, math help program, all my full courses uh, in the description, uh, you'll find the link. And then also you'll uh, see my notes below as well if you want to have a nice set of reference material in your class. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.